bottom line is is that this should be uh, very uh, very durable considerably more so than the bare SB material the stitching which is really where the problem was in the bare SB looks to be rock solid um, I don't see any potential for problems on this suit and uh, well it depends uh, plastic zip people have uh, people love them and people hate them uh, I'm a lover of them but uh, maybe that'll be the first thing to go. I don't know. At 300 dives on uh, that bare SB with a tie zip, which has got a lower reputation than this YKK plastic zip, um, you know, I hadn't had any problems. And in fact, I've never had any problems with any of the tie zips that I've ever had. And like I said, this is supposed to be better. So we'll have to see. Uh, that's it. That is my unboxing of the bare uh, XCS2 uh, hyper compressed neoprene suit. Love it, love it, love it. I will try it on and um, check the uh, pocket positions, um, the positioning of the P-valve, uh, you know, the appearance of those butt pads, which are a little bit odd, but uh, we'll see. Once, once they're on, they may be kind of down the legs and uh, not so funny looking. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, a couple other things that I wanted to go over. Um, uh, this was also attached to the... Uh, to the um, suit lifetime guarantee you can pause that uh, that's kind of a big deal uh, not that it's unique in the industry uh, DUI and, and uh, Santee also have lifetime guarantees uh, on their suits against uh, warranty defects um, I don't know how much it helps you depends on the situation I mean if you go and get stuck by a metal rebar or something underwater that's not going to apply but uh, you know having said that um, you know, they warrantied out. They gave me a lifetime guarantee on that gar on that bare SB. And uh, that's why I've got this XCS2 sitting here. Um, by the way, it is June. It is Georgia, Savannah, Georgia. And it is really, really, really hot outside. Uh, this will be a miserable suit to dive right now. But um, nonetheless, uh, I'll probably end up diving in anyway because I almost ran out of warranty uh, with that bare SB. Um, for the same reason I received it in... April of last year and I didn't dive it for the first time until like October so uh, I'm not going to do that to this suit I'm going to go ahead and dive in you know sometime here um, some of the sizing sizing chart that's been uh, that came with it <clears throat> this was on the plastic uh, uh, little holder on the zipper am I doing that upside down I can't see because I'm not focused anyway uh, okay yeah now it's upside down there we go pause that if you want to see it and women's pause that if you want to see it my fingers are covering some of it and put that to the side oh here's some some uh, specifics about that uh, uh, NST technology uh, in one language I assume that English is on this side pause it if you want to read it um, all bear suits come with um, a bag maybe that's yeah there it is <clears throat> there's actually a bag in here there's a bag inside of a bag this is the talc bag and uh, it's actually a uh, porous fabric uh, bag with a drawstring on it and you fill it full of talcum powder and with it without opening the bag but uh, the talc will actually come through the bag slightly and you can talc your um, your seals uh, which I do pretty much every night uh, when I'm when I'm diving dry, uh, let's see. Here is your zipper lube. That's your ZipTec zipper lube, and this ZipTec zipper lube is not for the zipper. It is for the dock only, and I do that about every two weeks, which is about every 25 dives or so. Um, maybe more than that. Maybe more like uh, 50 dives, something like that. 25 to 50 dives depends upon the season. Uh, what else? I got a. Um, yeah, I got a whole envelope full of stuff here. I'm taking it all out of the envelope here. This appears to be my work order number, the serial number of my suit, all the specifics on it. I'll probably file that in under my uh, in my filing cabinet under warranty information. Yeah, here's a warranty registration card, um, which I won't be sending in. Sorry, Bear. I don't do the whole warranty registration thing um, 
I don't believe in warranty registrations. I have a warranty anyway. I don't need to register anything. Here's some information from SciTech about my dry suit valves. Um, I have completely disassembled these in the past and rebuilt them. So, uh, non-issue. And this right here, this is a plain black booklet. It says bare. Here's your table of contents. Uh, let's see. This is just, I guess, information about... Um, about their dry suits. They probably talk a little bit about it, how to wear them, how to use them. That's it. I'll go through that too. Um, overall, uh, real nice. Um, as good as I had hoped. Uh, we'll have to see whether or not it's buoyant. I can tell you it is heavier than my, um, than my SB was. Um, Surprisingly not by much. I would say it probably weighs about as much as a 7 mil extra large. This is an extra large suit. So I would say it probably weighs about as much as a 7 mil. And I'm including booties and all that other kind of stuff. Um, so it's not it's not terribly heavy. Uh, it is considerably heavier than the SB. It's probably twice the weight of the SB. But you know we're talking about it weighing... Oh, I give it a shot and say it probably weighs 10 or 12 pounds versus the SB weighing, you know... Uh, five or six pounds, uh, and that's just off the top of my head, you know. Um, when this gets wet, this fabric here will probably be saturated on the outside. Uh, the SB, being a trilaminate, it also saturated on the outside. A lot of people think that a, that a trilaminate suit will not saturate, and that's not, tr that's not true at all. <clears throat> it did saturate. It did weigh more than uh, wet than it did dry. Um, this suit is no different. Uh, so I'm sure that it will be, uh, I don't know why my focus is not working. It's so bizarre. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, it's going to be heavier wet than it is dry. That's all there is to it. Uh, drying times, uh, on this suit will probably be a little bit more, uh, but you're probably talking about 18 hours of dry time rather than, you know, 10 hours of dry time or six hours of dry time, maybe something like that. Uh, not significant. Uh, trilaminates do saturate on the outside. They do get wet and you're not instantly dry when you get out. Uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, big difference between the two suits is that I can wear this suit, I can dive this suit without uh, any air in it. Uh, and uh, they've, you know, historically neoprene is a bad thing when it comes to dry suits because there's so much of it and neoprene is almost always buoyant. Uh, I'm hoping that this is similar to the uh, CF200, the DUI CF200, in that the material is actually negative even in water. So that's it. All right, so unboxing, uh, lots of videos. There you go. Enjoy.